So in this video, we are going to be adding an option dialog into our app. Now, if you have uh, ever used an app before in iPhone or Android, uh, that isn't a game most uh, often, uh, you might see a setting where if you press, I don't know, something in the setting, uh, this pop-up comes up from the bottom and then you have an option like uh, yes, no, cancel or something like that. And that is an option dialog. And we are going to be adding that into our app today. So firstly, let's create our win. Uh, tie.ui.createWindow. Oops, I keep on doing that. There we go. And I'm just going to set the background color to white. Uh, white. Yep. And the next thing we're going to do is create a label, not label. Label is tie.ui. Uh, create oh, so many typos label okay and we are going to say the text is uh, choose a background ground color now uh, you might have realized by now from our text from this text over here but what we're going to do is create an option dialog to, so that the user can select a background color for our app so there's going to be like an option red I don't know, blue or orange or whatever. And we are going to be uh, changing a background color depending on what the user chooses. So the text is going to be that and the width and height is going to be auto because uh, we want the uh, text to be right at the middle of the screen and we don't want to mess around with the width and height because we have a relatively long text. So that's that. And what we're going to do next is create an option dialog. I'm just going to call it option here. You can call it option dialog. You can call it OD, O, or whatever you want. Tie.ui.create uh, create option with a small p dialog. And inside here, we are going to set the title to be uh, choose a background. Actually, I'm just going to say background color because I don't want it to be the same as my label text background color and the option is going to be the options user op option with a s is the option that the user is going to be uh, given with so we are going to be adding strings I'm going to say orange uh, blue with a big B doesn't have to be green and make sure you have cancel or something along the lines of that so that the user can cancel and not select anything. The next thing we need to do, or the last thing for our options, is going to select what our cancel uh, thing is. So we have four options over here. We have orange, blue, green and yellow. Now in programming we uh, count from zero. So these uh, four options are each given an index number of zero, one, two and three. And whoops, three here. And for our cancel we need to state which option is a con cancel. So here we are going to say it's three. If it's at the top, we are going to say it's zero. If it's somewhere in the middle, we're going to say it's either one or two. And the last thing we're going to do is create a button so that if we click on this button, our uh, option dialog is going to pop up. So var button equals a tie dot UI dot create button like usual. And the title is going to be option dialog. Uh, height is going to be about 50, the usual height. The width is going to be the usual 120-ish. And I want it to be at the bottom, so 30 pixels from the bottom. That would do. Let's uh, give it some space because I normally want to write, I don't want to write at the bottom of my screen. So the next thing we want to do is create an event listener for our option. Actually, before that, let's quickly create an event listener for a button. So, oops, button dot add event listener uh, we are going to, we are going to be listening to the click event and for the uh, for our callback function not p there we go we want to show our option so option is our variable name for our option dialog if you have a different variable name make sure you change this from option to i don't know option dialog or od or whatever now before here i want to now uh, create an event listener for our option dialog so uh, option dot add event listener again if your variable name is different to mine mine's option which is why this is called an option dot event listener make sure you change this bit to something else or your uh, your variable name uh, 
we are going to be listening to our click event and the usual callback function is going to be an if statement. We want to create an if statement for our each index. So if something, we want to do something and else if and we want to do something, we want to state something and we want to do something and so on. I'm just going to quickly write a semicolon at the end because that's going to give me errors if I forget. Now, firstly, I want to create one for our cancel. So uh, again, uh, for our options, our index numbers are 0, 1, 2, and 3. So our cancel is 3. So we want to say if our e dot index, so our index number index, is actually smaller than 3, OK, that is going to be either orange, blue, or green. Okay, so that differentiate between three options to cancel. So inside here, we are going to be adding uh, other uh, if statements to different uh, to determine whether the user selected orange, blue, or green. However, oops, I didn't need an F here. However, if the use e dot index isn't less than three, so if it equals three in this case, because there's no number bigger than three, because our third or fourth uh, option is cancel. Basically, this code over here is for our code for cancel okay so let's quickly write our code for cancel here because that is going to be uh, the quickest so when we click cancel we don't want to change our background color so we are not going to do anything for that and instead we are just going to say label.txt that's the label I created uh, above and we are going to just say you cancelled and that's it now for our uh, either orange, blue, or green code, I'm just going to give it a bit of space so that it's easier to see. And if the e dot index is less than three, uh, it's either going to be orange, blue, or green. So we are going to be creating another uh, about three or so if statements. So e dot index equals zero. We want to do something else if e dot index is equals to one. We want it to do something else uh, if e dot index equals to I guess this isn't too necessary because we don't have any other options apart from two if it's not one or two however I'm just going to write it for now so that is going to be for green so that is going to be for uh, blue and that is going to be for orange because if e dot index is three is zero, that's going to be orange. That's going to mean that the user has selected orange. And if it equals to one, that means the user has selected blue. And if it equals to two, that means the user has selected for green. So what we're going to do here is change the win dot background color, background color, to uh, a bluish color. Now I. Oh no, an orangish color. This was for orange. Now, uh, before I started my tutorial here, I quickly went to colorpicker.com and selected a nice ish orange color for me. So E06A1B. There we go. And here we are going to be doing exactly the same, but with changing the background color to blue. So again, I, oops, that's my uh, email. Don't worry about that. BE0. Is that a zero? No, oh, yeah, I think it's a zero, yeah. And for a green, we are going to do exactly the same, but we are going to change the background color of our window to green-ish color. So uh, 2E7D7D42. D there we go. Now, if you want to choose your own color, just uh, uh, Google colorpicker.com or just do hex color or whatever you want your favorite uh, color picker website, or you can either go to like uh, softwares like Photoshop to choose your favorite color. So the last thing we're gonna do for each of this uh, if statement is just say, uh, what do you wanna say? Is we want to set the late, oops, not capital. We want to set the label.txt to be, you have selected that color. So you chose and plus uh, e.index. Now I could change that e dot index to say orange, green, or blue, but in this case, for this tutorial, because it's gone past our nine minutes, uh, we are just going to say you selected zero, one, or two, or it says you cancelled. Okay. Uh, lastly, don't forget our window add and window open. So we are going to be adding our label 
and we are going to be adding our uh, option and then win.open okay so that's it I am going to uh, save my app.js actually I did now command s or control s and I'm going to open my iPhone simulator okay before uh, I did my iPhone simulator actually I did and it gave me an error and I was thinking why the hell did it give me an error and I realized my stupid mistake sorry about that uh, over here window add you don't add the option because you don't need to and what you want to do is add the button so I'm really sorry for that stupid mistake I'm going to change my uh, window add option to window add button and now that is going to prevent not prevent but that's going to stop uh, any more errors from occurring hopefully so now for my uh, second time luck I am going to open my iPhone simulator okay so my app has loaded it's got a white background color by default because of my background color property and it says choose background color and I've got a button which says option dialog and when I click on it this option dialog comes up the title is background color and we have three options plus a cancel so technically four options the reason why cancel has a different button color uh, font color and it's a bit at the bottom compared to the other three and with a little bit of padding or margin or whatever you call it in between is because we set the th fourth option which is here to cancel so if I click on cancel it says you cancelled but if I click on either orange blue or green I'm going to click orange now it's going to change the background color to the orange color I specified over here in my event listener and it says you chose zero because I said label.txt equals you chose plus e.index and if I click blue it's going to change to blue and if I click green if I, I it's going to change to green I like really I really like this green color I don't really like this blue color maybe if I do this blue color I could change the font to white or something like that that would be really cool because black is really hard to see but uh, oh well and if I cancel it says you you cancelled because they're not going to change any background color orange is an okay color I like this green I really like this green okay so that's it that was a quick tutorial on the option dialogue thanks for watching uh, if you like my video please uh, give it a like comment and maybe subscribe if you want to do more. I've got about 40 vid videos currently uh, dedicated to Titanium and I also have 100 more from other uh, web related tutorials. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.